Once you've applied all of your DNA samples to the Gentegra tubes, transfer your plate to the fast dryer. Ensure that the fast dryer is plugged in. Open the lid of the fast dryer and position the rack on the deck between the two positioning guides. The caps should be off the tubes for drying. After the rack has been placed on the dryer, tightly close the lid of the fast dryer. When the lid is closed, push the button on the side of the fast dryer to start. The dryer will illuminate when the fan is running. Leave your samples to dry overnight in the fast dryer. Note, it is possible to dry the Gentegra tubes in a speed vac at room temperature for about 1.5 hours or to dry your tubes uncapped in a dry, clean environment such as a biosafety hood for 24 to 48 hours. When the overnight drying is complete, turn off the fast dryer, open the lid, carefully remove the rack containing your Gentegra tubes. The Gentegra matrix is invisible before and after drying the stored DNA samples. After drying the Gentegra tubes, you should cap the tubes prior to storage. Use a, using the Gentegra cap mat, securely place a cap on each of your tubes by laying the mat over the top of the tubes and pressing each cap onto the tubes. After capping the tubes, remove the lid from your storage rack and transfer the tubes using your forceps into the storage rack for long-term storage. Replace the lid on your storage rack and now you are ready to store your DNA. Genvolt recommends storing the Gentegra tubes in an environment with less than 40% relative humidity such as a desktop archive, a personal archive or a dynamic archive. Genvolt's desktop archive, our small storage cabinet, holds up to 24 Gentegra storage racks or 2300 tubes. The personal archive, our medium storage cabinet, holds up to 384 Gentegra storage racks or 36,800 tubes. Our dynamic archive scales to meet your needs with sizes beginning at 3000 Gentegra racks up to more than 70,000 racks.